Right, okay, hi everyone, and welcome back to Cobra Park Farm. The JCB DLC is of course out now, so I'm hopefully going to be using one of the machines out of that pack today. I'm not sure which one, but we do have to muck the cows out, so ideally, if it was a loader, then that would be good. Um, right, so we're going to have to sell something. And the stayer um, is probably one of the obvious choices here. We've got two tractors already with a front loader, so I don't think we need three. So I'm going to sell that. So if I sold the tractor now, I'd get £52,500, but I'm going to take it to the store and get as much as I possibly can. And I'm also going to take the Merlot, because I did say in the previous part that I was going to sell that as well to replace it with one of the JCBs. But I might bring it back sometime in the future because it is a very, very well done mod, very well made and it's very fun to use. But as the JCB DLC has just come out, it's going to have priority over that one. It would be handy if I had the transport trailer really, because then I could take them both at the same time. And put the dolly on that. But I don't at the moment, but sometime in the future I would like to buy that. So we'll go and take this to the store, we'll go and sell it, and then we'll take the Merlot. The Merlot was very expensive to begin with, so we should get a fair bit back for that. And then I would imagine we would have more than a hundred thousand pounds. The JCBs are quite expensive, so I don't think we'll be able to buy more than one machine today. I do want to get them all, but that's going to be a long-term thing. And some of the things I might rent, possibly, but I'm not sure yet. It all depends how much money we can make in a short period of time. Okay, so there it goes into the box. We'll just sell that, see what we can get. 63,000, wow, that's a lot more than it was. We'll sell that and we'll go and jump into the Merlot. Just drop that off there. So yeah, I love this mod, it is really good, but JCB is gonna have priority, like I say. But I would like to have it back in the future. If we were playing on easy, and we'd started off with loads and loads of grain in storage. We could have just sold all that and that would have been enough for us to buy all the JCBs. But as we play on hard, it's a lot tougher obviously to buy new equipment. And as this is quite an expensive machine, I'm going to have to sell this one. Because we need the tractors really. And I would like to do the mucking out as well. And the Merlot. Let's just put that there. And this one will get 54,000. So we've now got 138,409 pounds, which I would imagine would be enough for something. Not a tractor. It is enough for that loader. The skid steer would be handy and very good for mucking out. And we've got all these different attachments as well. Um, it's just obviously not very big it can reach fairly high for its size, but not as high as this one. So, this might be the sensible option to begin with. I'll just buy that and see how much money we've got remaining. Okay, we can actually buy both if we wanted to, um, but we might obviously need that money for something else. So I don't know, I'll probably just buy that one for now. So here it is, a TM. 320S or 320S, not sure how you actually pronounce that one. Um, but yeah, very nice. I reviewed this yesterday, of course, on my uh, JCB DLC review. And I really like it. Very nice. I'm just thinking if I need to buy an attachment for the front. It comes under the telehandlers here. Um, yeah, I might have to get the manure fork. I think I will. So I'll buy that one as well. Right, so into the fantastic JCB. And we'll take this over to the yard and muck out the cows for the first time.
Okay. So this one doesn't actually have a beacon. But just for this small stretch it would be good if it did have a beacon. And we'll try and get past this one in a minute. Uh, just quite a lot of traffic here. Oh, there's loads of traffic. It's starting to go a bit dusk now, it's uh, quarter to seven, so I think tomorrow I'll uh, skip the night and we'll start off first thing in the morning. Wow, that was uh, quite a hard bump there. So I'm not sure exactly how much manure I've actually got in storage but it would be good if I could fill the manure spreader because we did that field two days ago in the previous part it would be good to fertilize that um, I'll just jump into the information panel and yeah we've got 7222 liters which might just about fill one load of the manure spreader I'm not sure if it doesn't I'll just put it into storage ready for when we have actually filled it up. Right. So we'll go and clean them out and put it in the new storage area around there. So there isn't too much in here. But there is a little bit. So it's probably good to keep them quite clean. We will also have to do some straw bales for their bedding. Oh, I love this JCB. Really well made, they all are. They're fantastic. Another full load. And I think there's a little bit left in there. I'll get them totally cleaned out. Yeah, 6%. Doesn't really seem worth it, but I might as well. So there we go, the cows are mucked out. I would hope to get a tractor fairly soon, JCB tractor. I don't think there was enough there quite yet for that field, but it's a good start. And I'll just put that in there somewhere. come back out again and shut the gate because we don't want the cows escaping. Right, just shut the gate and right what's next? Right so before it goes too dark I think the next thing I want to do is use the water mod. Now I've never actually used any of the water equipment in this game before never ever bought the water tank and there's one actually recommended for this map which I'm about to buy we'll jump into the store and it should be in misc and here it is this one just here we'll buy that that is the download link for that is actually on the um, official Cobble Park Farm download page 
but I will put it in the description below as usual. And we'll just jump into the case. I've moved the JCB out of the way now. And we'll go and pick that up. And then we'll fill up the tanker with water, of course. And I think there are two water fill points uh, on this map. There's one at Cobra Farm, and there's one over at the Wednesday store. So, not sure which one I will use today. The one actually at the store is probably easier. Um, but the uh, one at Cobra Farm is fairly close to where the combine is, where the uh, sit, where the fertilizer is. I'll probably actually just go over there now just to show everyone who doesn't know where it is. Um, and I've actually already tried to record this part um, of the video. I had to actually go and email uh, Bullet Bill 83 because I couldn't get the water to work. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the map and it does work absolutely, absolutely fine. Um, it's just I was doing it completely wrong. I was trying to empty the water tank through the spout on the side into the trough and that, that's not the way to do it. Apparently that is the way you do it if you want to dump the water out, if you want to empty it because you don't want any in there anymore. Um, so I was doing it wrong, you actually have to go up to the trough as I was doing, I was on the wrong side as well and then it will come up on the thing and it will say empty into the trough and you press whatever it is, I can't remember what it is exactly and uh, it will fill the trough up. But here is the water refill point at Cobra Farm it says warning not drinking water and that's where you do it and if you use uh, the mod you will have a little pipe which attaches to that onto there and it will fill up your tanker so we'll drive over to the store now we'll pick it up and then I'll show you the one over at the Wednesday store um, where you can fill up the tanker from there as well Okay, so here it is at the dealership. It's quite a big tank, that's why I have brought the case rather than uh, the little T4 New Holland which I could have used. It probably would have pulled it, but maybe not full. Maybe not in real life anyway. Um, and it could have been doing a few wheelers as well. So I've used the case. I think it's probably the best one to use. And the refill point here it's just round this side we might as well actually fill it up here it's just here again it says not drinking water and if you press R to refill it you see the pipe attaches there and it'll actually move if you move the tractor obviously not advisable to move the tractor while it's filling up but uh, that just shows that it is a flexible pipe and I better do that to the top 100% because I don't know how many uh, how much it actually fills up the troughs. It's in a bit of a wobble. Okay, so we'll just drive back to the troughs. We're going to give the cows and the sheep some water. Like I say, I've never done this before. But it is a really big tank. It's massive. So it should be enough for both the troughs. Hopefully. Now if there isn't enough, which I doubt, because this is such a big tank it must be able to fill two troughs, um, then I'll just try and split it half and half, but there should be enough, can't see why there wouldn't be. Okay so here we are, so I wasn't even expecting to do the water today, in fact I didn't even have it planned at all. But I've never done it before. I think it'd be nice to do it. And I think, if I'm right, I have to go this side of the trough. 
Yeah, that's right. And it should fill this up. Yes, it is. There it goes. Oh, no, it didn't take much at all. It only actually took 9%. And uh, this will be enough for six days. So that's fantastic. In fact, we can just keep the rest of the water in the tank. So they have now got feed. And they've also got water. We're walking over to it now. We will do the cows as well. I'm not sure the capacity of the cows. It could be exactly the same. Or it might be bigger. I should really get these gates shut though. Okay. So we want to be, again, on the hedge side apparently. Not in front. And yeah, that seems to be filling it up. It's taking more. Much more. There we go. So we've now got 63% remaining in the tank. And I believe this can be used for milk as well as water. So if you do want to drain it out, this is where I was going wrong. This is what I've been told. Um, if you did want to empty it, so you can put milk in, you press X and it'll put that down and it'll empty it on the floor. Obviously I'm not going to do that because it's a waste of water and I've paid for it. Um, but we'll keep it in there and we'll need that next time. So I'll just go and park this somewhere out of the way. quite sure where to put it yet. These are all fairly full. Um, hmm. It's such a large tank, it is quite hard to think of somewhere to put it. Actually I could just put it back here. I'll probably be okay. As long as it's not blocking the entrance there. Okay then, um, yeah we'll just shut the gate and that should be enough. We've done quite a bit with the animals today and uh, we'll continue tomorrow doing something else. Um, I'm hoping to get one of the JCB tractors and I might actually rent one, the smaller one. The only other way of getting one so soon is to sell another tractor. We've got three, um, we don't really need four so I guess I could sell one. I would like to keep the T4 because it's quite a small one. I would like definitely like to keep one of the bigger tractors, the, the two uh, New Holland's, the Case 160 and the New Holland T6. Not sure which one though. We could get rid of the New Holland because then we'd have a Case and a New Holland and a JCB. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. If everyone wants the JCB now and we want to buy it, we will definitely have to sell another tractor along with probably some more grain. Uh, otherwise we can rent it, which I should be able to afford now. So let me know what you think, and the majority of everyone's comments will be what we do next. So, do you want me to sell a tractor, and then do some harvest, and then buy the JCB? Or do you want me to just rent the JCB and keep all three tractors, and then add another tractor onto the fleet? Totally up to you, let me know, and we'll continue this tomorrow. Thanks for watching everyone, and bye for now.